today we will be discussing few multiple choice questions which came in the past exam fcps part 2 uh, exams and basically in this video i will just discuss few uh, random questions related to the different topics um, and i will try to make some more videos in which i will uh, um, discuss these specific topics so this video is not about any specific topic these are just the random questions which came in the last exams okay so the first question is that there is a pregnant lady with a bruising and protein is positive in the urine and platelets are positive. Most probably diagnosis is and we have the different option like HUS, SLE, DIC and ITP. Okay. Now here in this question the platelets are low. Most probable diagnosis, if we uh, look at uh, the uh, options like HUS, SLE, DIC and ITP, so most probably the ITC suit best in all the options. So answer is the ITP. Now come to question number two, patient with a history of delivery now heavily bleeding, uterus is contracted but empty, no RPC is present in the uterus and no cervical tear was found. What is the cause? Okay, we have different options like full bladder, uh, uterine rupture, syntocinone and placental pieces, placental abruption. Now uh, here the key point is that uterus is contracted. contracted. No RPCs are there. So if uterus is um, relaxed and full bladder, or RPCs or placental pieces. These are the chances. But here you just conduct it. So uh, it would better if we choose the chance of uh, ch choice of the syntocinone because uh, the syntocinone is also a cause of the heavy bleeding. Okay, so the answer is that of the syntocinone. Now coming to the question number three. Primary gravity was found to be about three centimeter on examination. After two hours, her awesome was about six centimeters dilatation. Dilated. Okay, CTG was found to be reactive. No other risk factor was found uh, on history. And what? How would you manage? Now everything is going fine. Okay, from three centimeter into or she went to six centimeters. So in that case, it would be better if you wait. Wait with no intervention. B is the right answer. Now, question number four, previous one is an insection and the previous history of the prom came with the four-day history of the uh, prom at 30 weeks. What would you do next? Okay, the options are C-section, IOL, antibiotics, and steroids. Now, as this patient previous had a um, history of the prom, she's at 30 weeks. Um, and the temperature is also raised, so um, means it looks like she is developing the signs of the choreo. So, it would be better if we do induction of the labor. Okay, so B is the right answer. Now, we're coming to the next question, the side effects of the insulin. We have different options like weight loss, weight gain, lipodystrophy, and retinal hemorrhage and uh, renal carcinoma. So, the answer is that of the lipodystrophy. Lipodystrophy is the answer that is the side effect of the insulin. Okay, now we have another question like best post-operative management of the patient with HIV would be. Okay, different options are there like cytodine, ART to the child, isolate the baby, encourage breastfeeding to the mother, and ART to the um, ART to the mother. Okay, among the given options, uh, although we can isolate the baby, uh, but uh, ART to the child is the best option. Okay, we have to give ART to the child. So B is the right answer. Now coming to question number nine. Sorry, question number seven. Okay, the question number seven, we have a primary gravida uh, with a creta and she is having bleeding from the placenta mat. Okay, we, uh, we might be given several uh, different options in the exams, but um, the few options are, first of all, the hysterectomy and second is that you try and packing. Okay, now she has got a creta. Okay, and she is primary gravida. Uh, so in primary gravidum, we should go for the uh, methods of conservative managements. Okay, so instead of going for hysterectomy, it would be better if we go for conservative management like you trend packing. And another important point is that uh, that is noteworthy um, that um, if um, um, we have the option of accreta, we can go for conservative management. But if instead of accreta, we have increta here, then um, even if she is primary gravida, then we have to go for the hysterectomy. But here, the answer is that if you try and packing, okay, hemorrhage can be dealt in a normal way unless life threatening. But uh, if it is increta, then we have to go for TH, that is uh, what written here. Now, coming to the uh, question number eight, most common presentation of the chlamydia. 
chlamydia uh, presents with the different conditions. It presents with vaginal discharge, cervicitis, uh, urethral discharge, and lower abdominal pain. All of these are given the options. So, um, as we know that all of these can be present in the chlamydia, but we have to choose the best among the all. So, the best among the all is that of the urethral discharge. Urethral discharge is the most common presentation of the chlamydia. So, that is the answer. Okay, so thank you so much for your patience and uh, uh, we will try to give you some more questions and uh, we will come back to you then. Okay, thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.